So now we are left with this particular page. If you people remember, we haven't created any kind of a script to save the changes from this edit user.php. If I'll hit submit, uh, it's going to give me some errors because it's uh, going to edit user.php, but our actual page is supposed to be uh, have an ID and some kind of an ID after the actual URL. So uh, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say edit user.php ID is equals to PHP echo dollar ID. So anytime you will hit submit, it will go to the right URL, not to the wrong one. Now I would be writing the script in order to save the changes. If you people want, you can create a separate file inside the scripts folder and call it here. But uh, in order to save some time, I would be doing it out here. So I would be including the file script slash connection dot php and out here I would be uh, saying if is set dollar host and our button name is submit I copy it if it's a dollar post submit that means that the person is hitting the submit button then go ahead take the name as dollar name and take the email as a dollar post email very simple guys okay now we would be writing an update query in order to save the changes yep that's name and the other one is email then i would be saying dollar update would be equals to my sql query then i'm going to say update guest book set name equals to dollar name and <clears throat> email equals to dollar email where id is equals to dollar id or die my sql error okay um, let's see whether that works and one more thing we can do out here is i can say limit to one then i can say if dollar update that if you're able to run this query successfully then go ahead and give us a message to success okay back i'm gonna refresh the page i'm gonna change it to one of my other email ids and here on the top it says success and if i come back here oh no there was some problem see it says name to zero email to something else what the heck it did from here it says zero and there is some kind of a problem let me check it out because one of the problem is first i have the same variables here and i have the same variables here so i'm gonna change them i'm gonna say edit name okay this one would be edit email just to be on the safer side and then i'm gonna try it uh, this one would be edit email okay i believe now it should work fine one more try uh, let's see what happens Okay, guys. Again, refresh. I'm gonna say name back to zombie. Let's submit. Oh, it's it's again going to zero. I'm not sure why. It's a success, and it came back to zero. Now well, it's very strange. Oh, yeah, it's a status. Is it actually getting its status or what is it doing? Oh. Let me echo the ID out here. I'm saying your ID first. I'm going to take this and out from here. I'm going to use a comma. That's it. Update guestbook set name equals to this particular name. And this needs to be email group, not name. Your ID is equal to dollar ID. Let's try now. Okay, again back to zombie. 
the research it's not even coming to zero no it can't be zombie right yeah it is it, it is zombie right now go to guestbook go where it says zombie i'm gonna change the email i'm gonna hit submit it says success refresh and the email have been changed okay guys now finally it is doing it for us and if i'll come back to the database it have been changed okay guys it's working fine now you but you people can do it you can actually create a variable out of it so you can say dollar success message or something like that and just you know show it on the page if you want to use any kind of design so whatever you people want to do i just want to show you how to do it and it's working absolutely fine one more thing we need to do is uh let me go to sendnow.php and if you people remember we are actually sending uh, no, we aren't sending any unsubscribe link to them okay guys next next thing we need to do is we need to send them a link if the people want to unsubscribe from our newsletters uh from uh, from their you know email uh, provider they are using you know if they want to unsubscribe from their link uh, the people can actually do it so i'm going to create a href to unsubscribe user.php and here i'm going to send the uid that would be the unsubscribe id some ugly shot forms and I'm going to grab this variable or okay yeah I'm, I'm actually going to grab this uh, variable that would be equal to their ID okay and here I'm going to write unsubscribe unsubscribe okay and uh, might be out here I would say uh, you can unsubscribe from any of the emails or any of the newsletters by clicking this and out here i'm going to say link link not links okay so that what we people can do and send one more email and we would be writing the script for this page if the people actually want to subscribe from their site. But very first, I'm going to be creating this page. Okay, I'm going to open it out here. Uh, I'm going to say if is set dollar get UID that would be the unsubscribe ID shop form dollar uid will be equals to this particular get variable and then i will be saying include once scripts slash connection dot php okay then sql my sql query then I would be saying update this book set what is the feeling I'm very bad at remembering the email right email red equals to zero where ID is equals to dollar UID and only limited to one or die mysql error then i'm gonna say if dollar sql echo you are unsubscribed you are unsubscribed now please feel free to subscribe again okay now let's just check whether it's working fine or not if it would be working fine then we would be all set to end this new series 
this attachment one. I just want to check it out again to this particular email ID. I'm gonna hit send. It says, "Yep, you do it. You got it, man." Some baby. Okay, here it shows one message. So that means I got it. And this time it's gonna process it really fast. Yeah. Oh, it says enable to resolve host name. What's your problem? Okay, now it's sending it. You have to send it now. I'm a good guy, right? Okay, spammer. No, not a spammer. Okay, here's one more. There it says my attachment. There it says, hey dude, I would be sending attachments now. You can unsubscribe from any of the newsletter by clicking one of this link. I'm gonna hit that link and can open it in the new window. And let's see what happens. Oh, uh, there is a problem, guys. We have sent a broken link. I have to send, you know, complete local host slash newsletter slash blah, 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 blah. Then only it will work and make sure if you are on your remote hosting, send your domain name. Otherwise, the people are going to end up going somewhere else and they're going to call you a liar. Okay, unsubscribe user. Let me check it out. It's unsubscribe user. Okay, one more try, guys. Go again. Okay, here it goes. And here is the actual email ID. I got it here. So let's wait for a few more seconds and we will be getting the email to our inbox. I'm going to delete all the rest of the emails because it's getting very chunky. Okay, it says one minute five seconds left. My gosh, the moment it will send the email ID, I will resume the video. Okay, uh, okay, guys, the email is going from here, it's gone, and it will be here. Uh, let's see what will happen. It says unsubscribe again. I'm gonna click it and subscribe to do it. I don't want any kind of newsletters from you, which is you are unsubscribed now. Please feel free. To subscribe again no I don't want to subscribe guys I want to end this newsletter series I'm gonna hit the database and it's not updated what is this this particular one that needs to be updated <clears throat> so let me check out my unsubscribe user what the heck I said I said update the guess what yep set email red equals to zero that is true where id is equals to uid and what is uid out here uid is equals to four here i'm um, at four that's absolutely fine oh not email red actually that needs to be status what happened to my mind guys okay one more try and I'm 120 percent sure it's gonna work. It was actually a problem. I used email red instead of you know using <clears throat> that particular thing. Mm, that was bad for me. Send it fast to come on. It's in one minute four seconds left. Okay, guys, here you go. Hope so we will get it this time, otherwise I'm not going to send any more emails. Alright, let's put it in my inbox. Um, I'm going to hit display images below. So this is our active attachment. If you people want to view, you can view. Okay. Yep, here it is. And here I'm going to hit the unsubscribe link and let's see what happens. I know you're going to get the same junky, cranky message. You are unsubscribed now. Please feel free to subscribe again. Out here. I'm going to open my guest book. This one is to zero. This one is to one. Because I read my email. Okay. And I'm not subscribed now. So don't send me any more newsletters. I hear it. Okay, guys. I believe our newsletter series is finished now. You people can design it. Make it more awesome. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.